gold and silver traded with modest bullishness as we have expected and predicted in our first update with the asia and europe session now gold has come towards its stronger resistance zone at 265052 and it is struggling to break beyond while silver has also shown a little struggle at 3150 zone here both critical resistances as we have discussed now what to expect can we expect a metals to break these resistances or there is a possibility of reversal what is going to be our strategy in order to profit trading gold and silver we will see with the help of charts and indeed this is the second update for the day those who had watched the first update must have already profited the subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications do join the free telegram channel to get the notifications of the updates and the live updates of the markets join the channel memberships here on youtube to support the effort Let's start. First, we we'll look into gold, followed with silver. Watch. Till. Remember, this is the only channel to give you two updates a day with detailed analysis, thorough reasoning on where to enter, where to exit, and what to expect. And thus, do not miss to subscribe. Let's start. Gold here on the early charts after forming a strong base. It is under the retracement channel here. It is looking upwards, consistently delivering bullish candles. Now it is see this was the zone from where it has started this drop, and it has come towards the same zone. It is going to be difficult for it to stay. definitely uh, at least if it breaks or breaches 2660 you can say that it has turned bullish as long as 2660 is not taken we have to be very very careful here with the buying at what is happening right now we can see higher lows are seen we can see higher highs are seen here and it is trying to trade with modest now the next zone here is at 2654 55 which is going to be uh, the critical resistance here on the upside and then 2660 so if these two levels are taken certainly you can say that the bulls are back and we can look forward to a rise but if you look at the early stock i think this is come to overbought zone which calls for it to deliver fever red candles if you look at the macd on the early charts yes it has crossed over and it is looking up for trading bullish rsi rising as well coming to two look at two hour charts here uh, moving average is crossing over here this is a bearish sign price is trading above the moving averages this is a good sign it appears it these have surpassed a little resistance here but i i will definitely recommend you to be cautious at least as long as gold stays below 2660 now this zone at least 2650 52 is a good resistance 55 is the second and then 2663 levels here are going to remain critical for gold the stock i stick overbought here this is again an observation which calls for a little pull back means couple of red candles macd interestingly has crossed over here and this is this crossover is coming after a long bearish move and it is divergent and this is just three candles away it appears that it can deliver fewer more green candles from here rsi rising as well and on the three hour, likewise on the three hour charts here it creating steps and delivering higher lows and higher highs here and uh, yes if you see this what has happened in the current candle it is uh, taken the support from the median of the bollinger bands and it is trading at the upper half of the bollinger bands so it suggests that there is inherent bullishness for it to trade bearish i i recommend you to wait for it to drop below 2640 but this is a far below levels in fact you can sell here at 26 uh 48 but then 44 and 2640 are going to remain greater greater support levels here on the downside if you look at the formation on the 3 hr charts see after this uh, bigger decline we have seen earlier that uh gold is trading in this bearish channel it has hit the lows it can move towards the top and it is almost at the top of the channel here the stock has taken here has seen a vertical rise and it is back to extreme overbought zone while the macd if you look at after trading bearish it is on the verge of a crossover this crossover can lead to reversal let's see if it does show a crossover here rsi rising coming to 4 hr uh, now on the 4 hr charts the median of the bollinger bands is important where it is positioned right now uh, if you notice closely you will see it is staying at around 2654 55 which is going to be a greater resistance and then 2660 so these levels are going to remain critical for gold for the day and as long as 2660 is not taken we have to be careful here with the buying entries now see it is trading in this channel here it has to come out of this channel in order to give a breakout and uh, suggest for the bullish move stock has tick overbought macd trying to converge rsi flat coming to daily chart now before we move into daily charts if you want to learn this art of trading join my mentorship batch if you just want to trade as per the signals be a part of my signals channel on telegram write an email or connect with me over telegram for your queries related to the services and those who had asked me to recommend a broker which offers you a swift free account with lowest spreads no hidden charges easier transactions easier withdrawals worldwide presence and 
a safer environment, regulated environment for you to trade, you can find the recommended broker link also in the channel and video description. Now see on the daily charts, you can see increasing bearishness here, increasing body sizes. And then uh, today it has started on a flat note and it has consistently moved upwards. Now if you connect the dots here as you have discussed and seen, if you connect the dots here, uh, 2660 is the level it needs to break in order to confirm complete reversal and 2666 is the level beyond which you should treat this as bullish for the day. So uh, I, I still doubt that it is going to break beyond 2660 but yes the bullishness it is showing right now may help it rising a bit but again greater hurdles on the upside are visible here. Now on the downside see since it is a flat bottom it can completely reverse as well but it requires a strong motivation for it to trade bearish from the current levels and keep moving towards 20. 20 period moving average is see this is important because the prices are divergent from the 20 period moving average and there is a stronger possibility for the prices to keep moving towards 20 period moving average and hence uh, we have to be cautious here on the upside prices can reverse completely and keep moving towards this. So now looking at this first thing is uh, buying entry above 5156 can be expected beyond this you can expect 51 uh, 26 sorry 26 uh, uh, 56 you can buy but then you have to be careful at around 26 61 and if 26 60 61 is taken then we can look forward to further more rise which can take the prices towards uh, 2665 and then if it breaches 266566 is stay bullish we can look forward to a greater greater move which is going to take the prices towards 2674, 76 and then 20, 2685. Chances for this happening appears to be less. On the downside, I will recommend you to sell here at 2648 itself, but then 2642, uh, 44, the first support zone, 2636, uh, 38, the second, and below that, we may see it moving towards 26, 26, 28 levels. Take your positions accordingly. Now below 2626 today, we can look forward to a greater move which is going to take the prices towards 2614-15 levels and below that a more bearish bias or more drop can be seen, taking it till towards 2602 or lower levels. Take your positions accordingly. Now let's have a look at silver. If you look at silver on the early charts, see uh, there are greater resistances available. We have discussed this 3150, 3160 and I have mentioned till 3180. You should not treat silver as bullish though what has happened here you can see on the early chart see these twin peaks here very very important and this makes this zone between 3160 3180 as critical because once it breaches 3180 you can look forward to a complete reversal chances for this happening appears to be less but these are markets see the rise retracement and now looking upwards here on the early charts if it breaches beyond 3150-60 zone, you can stay. But very, very important for the prices to stay above 3180, then only you should confirm this as a breakout. Stock elastic has dropped here, MACD rising, RSI rising, a good supportive sign for the bulls. If you look at the two hour charts, on the two hour charts, diminishing bearishness, and then this breakout, once it stays beyond 3150, that is the lower prices above 3150, we can initiate a buying entry, but then I will say this is going to be riskier 3160, 70, 80. Till 3180, we should not be treating silver as bullish. This is very, very, very clear. Only a move above 3180 should confirm the bullish breakout or reversal. Stock elastic looking downwards, MACD here has crossed over. Looking upwards suggests slight rise here while the RSI is almost flat. Coming to 3R. Likewise on the 3R charts, look at these candles. These are important, comes with bigger tails. And the current candle just getting a stronger resistance from the 20 50 period moving average and the median of the Bollinger Bands. Thus, it is very, very important for silver to break beyond 3150 levels. The 3150, when I say lower price has to be above 3150 in order to confirm further rise. But again, this is going to be riskier. This is going to not to be treated as a bullish move as long as 3180 is not taken here. The stock has take overbought here. MACD trying to converge crossover for a buying entry. It is not yet crossed over. RSI showing little bullishness coming to 4R. Likewise on the 4R charts, very, very important for it to break beyond this and see slightly higher highs, but the preceding candle is a red candle. You should notice this. Thus, the prices still can reverse and we can look forward to a stronger drop. But uh, look at the support it has created here. Looking at the support, see this is retraced. And if it reverses from the current levels, it is going to deliver a stronger bearish move here. 
stochastic back to overbought macd trying to converge rsi also trying to converge here coming to the day on the daily charts what has happened see increasing bearishness lower highs lower lows let it break out beyond this 3180 32 dollar levels that is the only point at which you can say that it has turned bullish what has happened in last few days you can see this was one single candle and now it has erased all the gains from this candle also the prices slowly have moved towards the 20 period moving average but most important thing is see so far it was delivering higher lows higher highs and it has breached this channel this time this is a slight bearish confirmation here and if the price is trades below 3120 and 31 today we can look forward to a greater bearish move taking it till towards 29 70 80 and then in fact 29 40 50 or uh, sorry 30 40 50 is also possible so now 3120 is going to be one prime resistance and 3120 31 31 dollar levels indeed uh, is definitely a good support we have seen it breaching yesterday today again if it breaches we can see we can look forward to a greater down move the stock is dropping sharp macd trying to converge here waiting for a crossover for sell and rsi has dropped considering this i will recommend buy silver today if you see it is staying above 3150 the lower price has to be above 3150 and then also it is going to be a riskier trade as long as 3180 is not taken and thus if you are buying at 3150 you have to just put a 10 cents trailing 3160 70 80 above 3180 is where the bulls are waiting we can look forward to 32 32 25 32 50 chances of which appears to be very very less on the downside i will recommend a selling entry here at 31 uh See, ideally we should wait for 3120 to be taken once it drops below 3120 we can look forward to a bearish move which is going to take it towards 31 uh, 29 or oh, 30 80 30 70 as the next and then 30 40 30 50 level should appear greater support exists at 30 40 30 50 this time if it breaks here on the downside it is going to deliver a stronger candle be careful if and only if it breaks here we are looking forward to a greater greater move be watchful of this take your positions accordingly like, share, subscribe and comment. Join my mentorship batch and signals channel. Reach out to me for your queries related to the services. Join the free telegram channel for live updates. And join the channel memberships here on YouTube to support the effort and do not miss to watch the first update every day with the Asia and Europe session. Thank you. Have a great profitable trading day. Thank you.